A lot of times when multiplying fractions, we're asked to illustrate the problem on an area model. We're going to do that today with 3 fourths times 1 third. Let's start by solving 3 fourths times 1 third so we know what solution we're looking for. Multiplying our numerators, 3 times 1 gives me 3, and multiplying our denominators, 4 times 3 gives me 12. So if we illustrate our area model correctly, we should come out with a solution of 3 twelfths. Let's start with our fraction of 3 fourths. Since our denominator is 4, we know we need to divide our area model into 4 pieces. And then, for the numerator of 3, we're going to shade in 3 of them. Now we need to illustrate the 1 third. Since we've already broken it up horizontally, we're going to ignore those for now and break it up vertically instead. I'm going to split it into 3 pieces to represent the denominator of 3 and shade in 1 of them to represent the numerator of 1. Now, our solution is illustrated in the part that was double shaded for both of those. We can see that there's three boxes that were shaded for both fractions out of what we broke into 12 total in our area model to give us a solution of 3 twelfths. This time we're going to start with an area model and work backwards to figure out which multiplication problem it illustrates. Let's start by looking how it's split up horizontally. I can see horizontally that we've split it into one, two, three, four, five rows, so we know our denominator is going to be five. Of those five rows, one, two, three of them are shaded. So the first number in our multiplication problem is three fifths. Now we're going to look to see how it's split up vertically. Vertically, we can see it's divided into three columns, so our denominator is going to be three. Two of those columns are shaded to give us two thirds. So that's the second number in our multiplication problem, three-fifths times two-thirds. Our solution comes where the boxes are double-shaded. Yellow and blue make green, so we can see there are six green boxes shaded out of 15 total to give us our solution of six-fifteenths. If we check by multiplying our values, three times two does give me six, five times three gives me 15, so both our problem and our area model match up. <music> 